He doesn't need any instructions, but he needs to lose a couple of feet in altitude. <laughs> get down, get down, get down. It's Mark, it's Mark, and some of his drones in the box. Come on, Mark, now I've got you here, tell me about them. So, yeah, so, um, this is it, this is, this is our pixel. Um, so rather than just being on the stream and seeing you holding it, I am holding it now. Oh, you've got yeah. a lunchbox on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, so... Yeah, and you'll notice it's lovely, all injection molded. The early versions were 3D printed, prototyped, and now that is it. I mean, it's 400 grams with the battery in it, and it right. is, is a beautiful little monster. With the battery in it, where's, where's the battery? Where's the battery go? This is the battery. So oh, okay, I see. Just drops him. Okay. I say that, there would be one that, oh, there you go. <laughs> it just clips him, and that's it, 400 grams. And how many, is this two layers? So this is three layers, there's, three layers. Tw there's 22 drones in a box. And the 22 drones make a drone show? You can do a drone show with 22, but it's so not. So you're going to need, what would you need? You'd need, what, two boxes of this to make 40 with yeah. four spares? Uh, I would, to, to have a good drone show, you're looking at 150 to 200 in reality. Right. Oh, okay. um, you can do 20. You can do 50. 50 starts to get into basic 3D. Um, 100 will get you some really nice starting to get into really nice stuff. But when you get to 200, you can start to do a lot more and it starts to really open up. Yeah. And so, the, so that's, that's little ones. Yeah. What's this one? Ah, uh, so this is the new one. This is the pyro version. This is the early R and D version. Pyro meaning? Pyro. Pyrotech, yeah, pyrotechnics. So it holds pyrotechnics in here or in here and then you just plug the wires into for the uh Wait, triggers is that here yeah so they're they're triggers and they're all in here but however the new version's a lot neater now right we've just readapted the top case part to make it a little bit easier you can take off the mount change your mount so it can hold its payload capacity is 400 grams four independent triggers during a show so you can trigger up to four different pyros if you want to. Um, yeah, and it's... And is that um, the same batteries as in your other machine? Yes, exactly. Okay. So everything's usable. Right. We, we want everything to be as easy as. So how do you... What's the maintenance plan on these batteries? If I had this and then I use some of these batteries and that and that, and this, are they intelligent at all? So... Or do you have a schedule for them? So the batteries we have a charge case unfortunately it's not here with us today but a charge case can do 20 batteries in about an hour maybe an hour and a half depending how depleted they are put your 20 batteries in let them charge and that's it okay. so it's, it's very easy to use it's designed to be as simple as we can make it for the operator and he's got what sort of endurance are we going at with, with this so you'll get a show time of roughly 15 minutes with the pixel the small drone so is that 15 minutes of transit time? Or 15, 15 minutes, minutes from takeoff and take landing. landing. Yeah. So um, how long would you allow for a transit to show to come home? Keep everything within that 15 minutes. I mean, weather is conditions. That, is it two minutes to transit up and go. It's, or it's, 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 it's entirely depends. Okay. You know, the more drones, the bigger the the, the, the formations are. So it depends. I mean. But humans get bored after nine minutes. Okay. After nine minutes, <laughs> you'll find very few drone shows that are oh, 20 really? minutes long. Yeah, because people get bored. And is that like an almost international standard? Yeah, sort of nine to 12 minutes is like, that's it. That's what most uh, people go for. Anything over that, and it's just like, I've seen it now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So even designing shows, you know, it, you've got to... You've got to be very careful on your timings and stuff and it's just about making sure that you obey the laws of physics as well because there's a lot of this thing where people go i want a drone for it to go from here to here if you if you do it you could say i'll oh, do it in five seconds the drone has to accelerate yeah, yeah, and decelerate yeah, yeah. and it's all in this big crazy yeah. formation so thanks to the skybrush stuff you can go in and you can see your show design you can see where the drones are too fast in certain places you've got to pull them down a bit but yeah and so how are these talking to each other then? How, so how are they keeping their formation? G, the GCS does it all. So the ground control station does it all. You basically you upload a waypoint mission and then the drones take the mission and with the RTK base station, the real time, so that, that's now pulling in, that's bringing the grid to centimeter yeah. accuracy corrections. Yeah. And then the GCS just 
pumps that information all the time towards the drones and it's just hitting it over Wi-Fi and uh, the 433, so it's two channels, just making sure that you're getting the corrections to the drones because they need to know. Otherwise, you'll get but discrepancies. But so they have no sense of where the next drone is. They are on their own mission. They're all each They're, on their own, yep. doing their own thing. Yep. They don't know where anyone else is. No, only the GCS understands the GCS. all that. And so then if one starts drifting into another, or how do you abort, I suppose, as well? So you, how do you stop the show? If you have so you, you have several choices with show. If you have to, you can select a drone and just tell it to land. Yeah. You might give it a minute just to let it ride to correct itself. You can send commands over either C2 channel, so the 433 is your backup. So if it stops obeying the 2.4, you switch to the 433 and you can send a command. Um, in the ultimate thing is you've got your geofence, which is maybe two meters from the edge of the show. Right. Breach that, that tells them to land. You can tell them to turn it off. Um, or if you do happen to breach or something else, we can just remotely turn off one drone or all the drones. Is that a matter of sort of tapping them? Or just, just go on a on, on, a, on a screen. Yeah, tap, just, tap, 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 tap. yeah, just go. So off. if ever you're doing a drone show, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So if I drone, yeah, you see, can just hit select drone off. show over somewhere, and I see him, I just lean over his shoulder. And <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean. And, and they are resilient, very resilient to weather conditions. They're designed for the UK weather. So if we design them for our weather, yeah, it means yeah, the rest of the like world's it. fine. Well, I have to see <laughs> over my shoulder here. Yeah. Here he is here. This is the man. This is, so it's Skybrush is his software. Yeah, it's their software. Yeah. 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 So what does Skybrush do? What's your part in this thing? It's just the software. You're just talking about the hardware, we do the software part. But we, we, uh, the great thing is working with Skybrush. Yeah. We've was it three years now, four years we've been working with oh, you guys. Like that, yeah, yeah that, it's been really good because we kind of we keep asking them for, <laughs> for stuff and they're like, okay, and they're like, it, yeah, yeah uh, and you know the support's been fantastic over the years. Oh, that's good. All right, well, thanks very much. We'll talk to you on a Tuesday. You know who he is, dear viewer. We'll talk to you on a Tuesday, <laughs> Max. Thank you.